I live a double life. I'm not just a chemist. I will always hold true to my art. I got into graffiti 25 years ago through hip hop. I was fascinated by this underground movement. At the time, I was a teenager trying to find an identity, and hip hop was what I was looking for. I love the energy, the skill, the unity, from the lyrics of an MC to wild flow and bright colors of graffiti. I miss the old time with my crew, P19. A crew, it's like a family, we look out for each other. There's a couple of artists that do photorealism in Manchester, but Axe has got it down to a fine art. I moved to Manchester in 1997 to study chemistry, then found a job as a scientist. The old days of Manchester, which was the Wild West and the free parties today, creative, artistic, place to be, street art capital of the North West. Before I used to paint on abandoned spots, nowadays I paint public spaces, but I still use spray paint. All my work is done freehand. It takes years of practice to master the art of spray painting. <laughs> So it's like in the Thai martial arts, Krabi Kabong, they say that you don't choose a weapon, the weapon chooses you. It's the same with Axe, he didn't choose to do street art, street art chose him. As a street artist, I realised about the impact my art can have on people. My recent tribute of David Bowie is the perfect example. Like most of my students, they have daytime jobs. But outside of that, that's not the real person. The real person is an artist or maybe a musician. This, this was a surprise to show me what he was capable of. And to me, I just thought it was absolutely unbelievable. I find it increasingly difficult to paint with my full-time job and my family. But I will never give up my passion and always hold true to my art. Spray painting is my life.